Moses Sentonde is a 24-year-old owner of this charcoal selling business in the Kampala suburb of Natete, who's constantly attending to customers streaming into his store all day long. This laborious work that he started in 2009 is his main source of living and has enabled him to keep his skin and bone together. Sebo Moses and Sawya Mandaya Mika. 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 Charcoal is nowadays expensive because of the high taxes levied on the trucks. While the hike in charcoal prices across the country has hit thousands of consumers hard, most people in Kampala still find charcoal cheaper than alternative energy sources and resort to buying it in smaller quantities from traders like Moses. We headed to a quieter place around Moses' neighborhood where he narrated how profitable this business has been to him. I can look after my family from this business and I have also bought some cows in the village. But Moses' business, like all others, has its share of challenges, which he, a senior to dropout, explains. People really despise charcoal sellers because of the dirt environment we work in. Putting the challenges aside, the trade in charcoal is evidently booming, as seen in the huge piles of sacks and trucks that regularly park besides Moses' stall. However, concern at the environmental impact of charcoal burning remains. Such burning has led to a serious depletion of trees in the central region districts of Luero, Nakasongola and PG. Moses tells me that efforts by environmentalists to reverse this depletion is a potential threat to his livelihood, which he says is already under threat from the huge taxes imposed by authorities. Most households in the city use charcoal for cooking, but lots of young people consider this job an odd one that they wouldn't be caught dead doing. But not Moses. He has carried out this trade for two years and has managed to sustain his young family. Chris Ochamringa, NTV, Natete.